I truly believe that human potential is limitless, but having potential is not the same as using it to its optimum quantity. And that's why I bring to you special guests who can help you improve the quality of your life and business. Today's episode is truly a special one because we're talking about business and self-leadership. I have a power-packed guest for you. Let me show you a little glimpse. Hi, my name is Anis Sajan. I'm the Managing Director of Danube Group. This week on Cricket Connected, we are introducing you to Mr. Cricket UAE. Now, this gentleman owns a Facebook page where he puts every update out for every stat from every game and every player. Meet Mr. Anis Sajan, a cricket fan extraordinaire who also on the side happens to own a multi-million dollar business. A businessman by profession and a passionate cricket fan at heart, Anis Sajan is one unique follower of the game who not only lives his passion but also believes in spreading the excitement in the community. together as I bring in the Managing Director of the Danube Group, Anis Sajid. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for the lovely introduction. I'm glad I'm in your 12th uh, episode. As they say, the 12th man is as good as the whole team. I'm so happy you made this happen, Anis. Ever since I announced you as my guest, I've had people message me saying, you know, they have questions, which I've also kind of built into my questions for the day. So if I have your permission, let me deep dive into the content for today. Please go ahead. If there was one advice you would give your 21-year-old self. I'll be very honest. When I got into business, uh, I did not have that passion. I was lucky enough uh, that I came out from the, from Bombay. So that mm. was probably one of the plus points in me where it made me a little street smart. But without passion in anything, whether it is business, in sports, or whatever you do, uh, you Mm. can't be successful. What does leadership mean to you? For me, leadership is something is connected with responsibilities. And when Mm. you are a leader, uh, you need to make sure that uh, you lead from the front. There is a saying that a captain is as good as his team. And if you are able to guide your team in the right way, results will automatically follow. I was reading an article where someone pointed a gun at you. And you were moments away from thinking life is over and selling oil on the road. And then you fled from Kuwait and joined your brother and you made a life. For you to build this multi-million dollar empire as a family, I can only imagine how seriously you would have taken your responsibilities, your discipline, your commitments, your mindset. And, you know, that's what I want to begin with you today because... I want everyone who's watching to be able to create that for themselves. When I was in Bombay, I had to do something to earn my living because Mm. I had left college. Mm. So I started working for a company called Eureka Forbes, uh, where you go door to door knocking and do direct selling of a water purifier called AquaGuard. So that Mm. was an experience uh, which changed my life. When I say changed my life, it helped me rejection. Uh, When you go door knocking, It's just that I was a bit persistent, that I would not go back in the evening without a sale. And rest Mm -hmm. is history, as you say. If you had to pull out those main lessons, so what are those, you know, rock solid lessons that you can give people so that they can fast track their success? So when Mm -hmm. you ask me, what are the things I could give back to people so that they can, you know, get something quick in their life or understand business? As I mentioned, dedication, passion, sincerity in your work and not giving up. You need to be loving your job. And unless you love your job, you won't be successful in life. Since I am into trading business, I'll just take a couple of lines to add. Two things are very important in business. Aging stock and collecting your payments on time. 
if you make sure that you take care of these things you would be successful 9 out of 10 times there are times when you import goods which are not required for the market which are not mm. for the market so when you have got the goods you have invested money or capital is stuck so it's very important that you liquidate that goods similarly there are times when you don't get money when you send goods on credit that is the time also there is pressure from the banks or you need to pay your suppliers you need to make sure you follow up for your payments so these are things which i would rather like to advise to youngsters who are getting into business what is a normal day for you like how do you manage your time and what are your some productivity tips or techniques that you practice there are 24 hours in a day but for me 24 hours is like 48 hours there's lots you can do in 24 hours because 24 hours multiplied by 60 i i you have to probably calculate what it is so bahut sara time hai so my mm. day starts when i wake up in the morning at around 7 7:30 and i do uh, without any uh, you know unconditionally i make sure that i do 2 hours of yoga followed by pranayam and meditation my day doesn't begin without doing that in fact that mm. keeps me going obviously then after the yoga you have your shower blah 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 you have your breakfast and you have to work so yoga why i'm insisting on this word yoga today a lot of people have been talking about covid the vaccine not coming in i believe if your immunity is strong you are your own vaccine so for me yoga mm-hmm. builds my immunity in 24 hours you need to make sure that you give yourself at least 6 hours of proper sleep mm-hmm. sleep is something at least in my life is very important because if you don't sleep well you can't function well if you do not work when i say if your mind is idle that is the time you are either on the mobile or you are on the social media wasting your time and this is mm-hmm. one advice since conversation is as uh, started so during that 8 hours or 9 hours of work if you give it to your work and take that break of 10 minutes where you want to unwind that is the time you touch your mobile or your television set whatever you are talking about and is when you are hiring a person what qualities do you look for the first thing what i see in a person is confidence for me confidence is the key for achieving in what you get as they say you know there's a saying if you look good you feel good if you feel good you feel confident and if you feel mm-hmm. confident you can achieve success my advice to those people is that be confident the first thing is when you shake your hands with the person whom you are meeting it should be a well gripped shake hand that mm-hmm. shows that the person whom you are shaking hands uh, is a confident person second thing obviously uh, uh, he needs to be having the integrity now i cannot judge a person by one uh, interview that whether is loyal or is honest but time will teach but when you talk to people uh, you know and when you throw in a few questions you probably understand that why did he leave his old job or why is he wanting to join danube or why he is taken this break so you things a uh, few questions you understand and third obviously like you said last time the hunger how much of hunger you have like where do you want to reach why are you joining danube hmm so confidence enthusiasm and integrity anis that brings me to my final question for today which is that what is the single mind shift you would like every viewer to have you have to make sure that whatever you do in anything whether it is your business your family you need to be confident about i mean you can't give up in life but agar tumhare mein self belief hai tumhare mein self confidence hai you can turn around things thank you so much it's been brilliant having you and i hope that everyone who's been watching you guys go back rewind watch this again take in all the nuggets of wisdom practice it improve your lives and do not forget to like and share this stream until next time this is avneet kohli taking your leave see you soon